Power of love. Power of booze. Power of booze is right. <sighs> Heidi and I had rosé for breakfast and vodka for lunch. So what's your 2021 new diet look like? <laughs> I'm Heidi and this is... Okay. Hi and welcome to this week's episode of Craft Tail Therapy's Tipsy Tutorials. Oh, it sure is. I'm Heidi. And I'm going to stuff my bra with this. <laughs> <laughs> I you don't even need to stuff your bra. I'm the one that needs Sometimes. to stuff. Oh my god, it actually looks wow. pretty well. Is this stuff waterproof? You can put it right in your bathing suit. We're gonna put this in here and then our crafts are gonna smell like boob sweat. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at this number. Whoa, who needs a boob job? <laughs> we got polyfill, baby. <laughs> wow, this is good. I know actually. Like, I, mean, I feel like it's very Nip up. Okay, should we start over? <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Craft Therapy. Welcome to Busty Therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, it's itchy. Ah, it is. Get that out of there. This is synthetic. Oh my god, my poor nip. This week we are going to be making a kind of a little cinnamony Valentine's Day cocktail. We're in we're full-fledged into preparing for Valentine's Day with all the crafts. We're all about the love over here. And then we're going to be making a cute little um, puffy heart craft that can be used for decorations at home. This is another kid-friendly craft. We're actually going to be using them in the sets at New England Photo Collective to kind of like spice up our winter sets and make them a little more Valentine's Day-y. And I'm most excited about this episode because we match. We match. And that's how he's favorite freaking thing is to match. I always want us in the exact same outfit, like we're sisters. <laughs> and thank you so much to Nina Rizzo at the Maverick Collection because she supplied us with these fabulous velvet hot pink show stoppers for this episode. I love them. They're, they're so comfy. They're, it's the comfiest blazer you could, yeah, ever, you could sure. ever have. It feels like a bathroom. I love it. Flowy, no buttons except for on the sleeves. Dress it up, dress it down. Wear it with lingerie. <laughs> We have no limits, as you know. Shall we get drinking? Yes. It's our favorite pastime and present time. The answer is always yes. Yeah, right? That was for my boot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like six feet long. Perfect. Must have, been, must have been an attached hair. So for once, I'm going to make a cocktail for you that doesn't involve 64 ingredients. It's actually pretty easy. You have three ingredients and one citrus. So I like to chop up the lemons and use the ends, therefore you don't get seeds in your teeth while you're drinking. Whee! Squeeze that sucker. I like it tart. How about you, friend? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. And I, I have to say, I'm interested to try this cocktail because I'm not a huge Fireball fan. Me either. Like, I would never just take a shot. No. no. So I want to see how these flavors mix, but I think the lemon is going to help me with that cinnamon. We're going to call it cinnamon hottie <laughs> because that's what we are. But <laughs> I figured vodka and cranberry goes really well together. Cranberry and cinnamon goes really well together. What could go wrong? Mm -hmm. Potential pole dancing. <laughs> we don't know. So next, I'm just going to add the fireball. I feel like it's very valentine -y. And yeah, holiday. -y. Yeah, like the red hots, and actually, that's our garnish too. Is the little um, cinnamon hearts. cinnamon hearts? That's yeah. right. We did that ahead of time with a cute little hot pink XOXO straw. Mm -hmm. So for the two of us, we'll do about an ounce and a half. I feel like you don't need much cinnamon. Yeah, just a Ooh. little hint. I can already taste it. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Fireball. Okay, next. Good old Tito's. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a fresh one. Ooh. Listen to that. Anticlimactic. <laughs> so, since there's two of us, half the handle's good. Uh, <laughs> no, we'll do two ounces each. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Generous pause over here at Craft Tail Therapy, because who the hell wants a weak one? Boop, boop, boop. Give it a little shake. Cranberry cocktail. That's good. No, Try. <laughs> Maybe now, more. give yourself at least three ounces of this, so you don't pass out dead. Which is my Valentine's Day plan. <laughs> now we have to, I mean, we're home with the kids. We have to have kind of like a kid-friendly Valentine's, and then we can do our thing. And you know, we got to spank it. Spank it. Shake it. it. I love it. It's going to be the color red. Yeah, it's pretty. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Bingo. It works. It's a great color. And so easy. Cheers, friend. It's Cheers. like a, a take on the, what do they call it, the Cape Cotter when it's yeah. cranberry and vodka. 
Sold. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Oh it does God. taste like red heart candy. It does, but it's not sweet. It's ch more tart. It actually doesn't even taste like cranberry. Like it just tastes like Love a it. little, yeah. It really works. Oh my God, and how good does it match our blazers? Mm. Which is the most important of all the things. I mean, matching is the most important. <laughs> matching is <laughs> stuffing your bra. It is craft time, friends. Yay. <laughs> our second favorite part of the show. Yes. After the cocktails. After the cocktails, yes. So our um, supplies for this, our ingredients for this craft <laughs> are, uh, we found these little felt hearts right at the craft store and they already had these holes punched all the way around. So we saw instant opportunity there to be able to like thread the yeah. yarn through them. You'll see when we do it, but we, um, if you don't, if you can't find these kind of doily felt hearts, you could buy regular felt hearts or just plain old felt and cut it into a heart shape. Um, this just gives you a little bit of a shortcut. Right. We're all about that. Yep. <laughs> but make do with whatever you have. That's it, girl. And then we have polyfill. So um, this you can also buy in the craft store. Usually it's in the fabric section. We have a ton of this left over here from all the snow that we use. Like we use this as snow in the winter, so. And as you saw, we enhanced our upper areas with it. Yeah, so it works great if they're <laughs> lacking in if the boot category. If you need cleavage, it's also fun for that. <laughs> So lay one flat on the table. Lay one flat. Um, you're gonna cut pre-cut a piece of string. Now you can cut your string into all different lengths. So if you're gonna hang these as decorations, you don't want everything to be the same anyways. You wanna right. hang at all different levels. Um, so just cut out a couple feet of yarn That's and it. you're gonna just lay it right down in the middle. I would actually hot glue the yarn first before For sure. you even add the polyfill. And she and I found this super cute like ombre yarn that fades from like magenta to pink to red to white so you get all the Valentine's colors in one. So fun. You Love could it. also use fishing wire for this if you don't wanna see the, um, the yarn. It's like. super festive for Valentine's. I like yes. it. All right. So you're gonna get your little piece of yarn glued down, good. Then you're gonna put like a whole little pile of hot glue and you're mm -hmm. gonna throw your polyfill. Throw Poly it. Polyfill is very weird. It doesn't stick very well to hot glue because it's not all attached technically to each other. It pulls apart easily. So give oh, it that's a, funny. Yeah, give it a good amount of hot glue. Because I make clouds and stuff like out of this. Stuff the middle, right? Yeah, yeah, right. So you're gonna kind of in, like push it in kind of collapse it down. Cotton and then ball. You've got your top piece. You're yes. gonna do the same thing, cover that with a lot of hot glue before you put it down on the polyfill. And then you're gonna squeeze them down together. Try not to burn yourself. Now the polyfill might not be totally contained within the heart just yet, but we're gonna sew together those edges using some yarn. Pillows for the dolls. Then jaws. you're gonna need a really long piece of yarn to sew because you're looping it many, many times. So I would go like four arms lengths. That's right, that's right. It's gonna go in between every little crevice. So we're keeping our string separate in case we wanna hang it, right? Yep, this okay. is the hanging string, that you first one. And now you're just gonna start in the, uh, whatever hole you want really, make your way around. I like to start at the that's top. That's what she said. <laughs> I really set myself up for that one. Sicko. <laughs> I should have known. Come on, guys. It's Valentine's Day. Just start in whatever hole you want. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a holiday. Oh, Lord have mercy. I need another sip. <laughs> Don't. Oh, so I actually have like a little hack. So these, these holes I feel like are really good where we can poke things through. But a piece of tape, almost like duplicating a shoelace, if you have the end of your yarn and you just roll a piece of tape, that. it allows you to like poke it through easily. That's also what she said. <laughs> Such a romantic episode, isn't it? Oh, I love it! Thank you for joining us for today's episode of Cocktail Therapy, our tipsy tutorial making these adorable little hearts for Valentine's so Day decorations or set design or whatever you want to do with them. They're great. Your pillow. Go you to bed. bed. Just go to bed on so that. So cozy. <laughs> we love your support. We appreciate you following us. We're here for you, like literally. With all your cocktail and crafting needs. <laughs> We're your therapists. We are. Not qualified. Mm -mm. <laughs> A special thank you to Maverick the Collection. Yes! Hi, Nina. Steph! Hi, Nina! <laughs> for our amazing wardrobe. They're I love, the best. I love when we match. 
Oh, so. she does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we love you. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let us know what you think in the comments below and subscribe to Craft Health Therapy so you never miss when the next tipsy tutorial drops. You don't want to miss us. You know you love us. It's the best part of your week. It really is. It's the best part of my week. It's the best part of my week, too. <laughs> if I can escape distance learning, I'm there. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Let's clean this up and blow this joint. Yeah.